starting with the first chapter, which is, of course, the introduction. Chapter 2 concerns African Americans and issues related to them. And Chapter 3 describes the relationships between entrepreneurs and consumers prior to the Great Depression. Chapter 4 describes ethnic businesses during the Depression era and World War II. Chapter 5 focuses on the 1940s through the 1970s. Chapter 6 focuses on 1970 until 2005. Chapter 7 looks at the informal economy. Chapter 8 focuses on Detroit. And finally, Chapter 9 concludes everything. I would like to start off by saying that this book really enabled me to know how people get along with each other. An example of something that happened while I was reading this story was that in Chapter 1, white individuals did not like that Italians sold items in their stores to black people. For revenge, the white people lynched those black people, which would be basically hanging them. Another example that occurred was when violence broke out among black people and white people in Detroit in June 1943. Another good example that I'll use throughout this video would be the riots that took place in 1992 in South Central Los Angeles following the Randy King acquittal which would be basically that black individuals that lived in Los Angeles were very upset when they found out that Rodney King was arrested and put in prison and people have the perception that this riot originally started in the black ghetto a really poor neighborhood of Los Angeles well this really didn't happen what really occurred in 1992 was that a black teenager which would remain unnamed he was 19 years old working at a store I believe he was so upset about what happened with Rodney King that he ran outside grabbed a rock and threw it in a window of a car that was driving by which ended up being a white individual the result of what occurred really skyrocketed into riots that eventually went to the poor neighborhoods and history can tell itself right there it wasn't good that that, that happened but this to be paralleled into the Ferguson riots of Missouri sometime last year, which I'm sure you would remember because it was all over the news and the media and Facebook and Twitter, it was everywhere. So, history tends to repeat itself occasionally, and this is a prime example. This was a good example of something that occurred in the book. But there was also the ongoing issues about um, conflicts occurring between the business owner or store owner or merchant and the customer. For example, if the merchant is Latin American and the customer is Black American and there might be an, an altercation occurring between them and uh, possibly something that could happen is if the 
black American robs the Latin American business owner and this just gives a bad impression and this is just an example of what could happen and also something else that I read in this book is that when ethnic businesses are targeted as a consequence of a political rivalry was in the period of following September 11th. Businesses owned by Muslims were assaulted out of misguided attempts of revenge because primarily Americans think that all Muslims are terrorists but this is proven not to be the case because the religion of Islam is always growing. And I myself am a Muslim and I don't plan to be a terrorist anytime soon, if at all. Because it is not Islamic to be somebody like that. And there is always an example of extremism throughout any religion. And something the purpose of this book is to broaden our understanding of the merchant-consumer conflicts. The author intentionally sought to include examples of conflicts involving groups and locations that were reported in this literature on the topic. These examples are just the tip of the iceberg of what this book discussed and um, I really hope you enjoyed my video and I look forward to your response and um, thank you.